Good afternoon. We'll do in this session part four of chapter two, nature of proposition. In this chapter, we will be studying different types of truth functional compound propositions. We already know what a truth functional compound proposition is. We know the five types. We will be studying much in detail. The first is negative proposition. When I say, I do not approve this message. What, I'm, what am I doing? I am using the connective not. So, it is a negative proposition. So let us see what, how it is defined. When any proposition is negated or denied, we get negative proposition. Propositional connective used is not. It is not the case that. It is not true that. It is false that. None. Never. And this connective is monadic connective. Because it connects only one proposition, one component. The logical constant used here is curl. See the sign of curl and it is read as curl. The symbolic form will be curl P. Curl stands for the connectives. Like not, it is not the case that, it is not true that, it is false that, none, never, etc. Whereas P stands for the component part. Now, let us take examples. Yogesh is not a logician. Here, the component part will be Yogesh is a logician and the connective will be not. Second, it is not the case that, Priyanka is a doctor. In this, what will be the component part? Priyanka is a doctor and the connectives, uh, connective will be it is not the case that. Third, it is not true that Ramdev is a magician. So, the connective will be it is not true that and the component will be Ramdev is a ma magician. Fourth, it is false that Abhay is a coward. So, your Abhay is a coward, it's the component and the connective will be it is false that. So, the symbolization for the first proposition will be curl L, for the second it will be curl D and for the third it will be curl M and fourth is curl C. This is the way we will symbolize with propositional constants. Symbolic form will be in this manner. Now we come. To now let us understand the truth value of a negative statement. A negative statement is true when its component statement is false, and a negative statement is false when its component statement is true. Let us see the basic truth table of negation. A negative statement is true when its component statement is false. And a negative statement is false when its component statement is true. So we have understood what is a negative statement. But we have to remember that in a negative statement, the connective used is monadic and it has to always be written on the left hand side of the proposition. Whereas the rest of the connectives, propositional connectives are dyadic or binary and they are to be written in between the two propositions we come to conjunctive proposition. John likes chocolate ice cream and Sue likes strawberry ice cream. So, your connective 
is and. So when two propositions are connected by the word and, it is said to be conjunctive proposition. Let us see the definition. When two propositions are joined together by truth functional connective and, then it is called as conjunctive proposition. Let us see propositional connectives used are and, but, yet, while, still, though, although, in spite, moreover, nevertheless, however, neither nor, etc. And they are propositional connective is dyadic or binary connective because it connects two statements or propositions. Now we will see the logical constant use. It is dot and it is read as dot. Now the symbolic form will be P dot Q. The dot should be in between the two propositions because it is joining two propositions. So it has to be in between the two propositions. That is very, very important. Then the component statements are called conjuncts and the logical constant is called conjunction. Means the dot is the conjunction, whereas the components are called conjuncts in conjunctive statements. So P is one conjunct and Q is another conjunct and dot is the conjunction. Now let us take an example. Smruti is intelligent and hard working. Here, Smruti is intelligent is one conjunct and hard working is another and the connective or conjunction is and. Second, Ridan is clever but a naughty boy. So, Ridan is clever is first conjunct, a naughty boy is the second conjunct and the conjunction is but. Here, he is rich yet he is a miser. So here he is rich is first conjunct and he is a miser is the second conjunct and yet is the conjunction. Connective that is conjunction. Now Ram is learning while he is earning. So while is the conjunction or the connective and Ram is learning is the first conjunct and he is earning is the second conjunct. It is small a small house still he she adjusted herself. So it is a small house is the first conjunct. She adjusted herself is the second conjunct and joined by the conjunction still. Though there is COVID-19 pandemic, the grocery shops are open. So though is the connective that is conjunction and the two components are or the conjuncts are there is COVID-19 pandemic is the first conjunct and grocery shops are open is the second conjunct. So symbolization will be like this I dot H in the first case, second C dot N, third is R dot M, fourth is L dot E, fifth is S dot A and sixth is P dot Q. So all these Alphabets which we are using are called propositional constants. They are used instead of the particular or specific proposition. Now we come to truth value of the conjunctive statement. Conjunctive statement is true only under one condition when both its conjuncts are true. And a conjunctive statement is false when at least one of the conjunct is true false. Okay? Then it is said to be false. Any one side false is sufficient for it to be false. Now let us see the basic truth table. A conjunctive statement is true under one condition that is when both the conjuncts are true and it is false when any one side it is false. On the right hand side it is false. The conjunction is false. The left side it is false, then the conjunction is false. Or when both are false also, obviously it will be false. In this session, we studied two types of truth functional compound propositions that is negative and conjunctive.
in the next session we will be studying the third type of truth functional compound proposition thank you